This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. From these pleasant surroundings, which have become the behind-the-line scene of a major war theatre, the latest of the surprise meetings of Mr. Churchill and President Roosevelt was announced. Villas suddenly became almost palatial with guard changing in the garden, while the service chiefs of Britain and America met in conference. The commanding officers of Britain's Navy, Army, Air Force and Combined Operations met for discussions of war-winning strategy with their opposite numbers from the United States. Perhaps this room will make history. It's quite useless to speculate on the decisions that were reached here, or even to guess at the landing points they may have chosen for the invasion of Europe. But it's amusing to think how much Hitler would have given to hear what they had to say. But he wouldn't have enjoyed it. So we must all wait patiently to learn by deeds what was planned here by words. No doubt the Premier and the Chief of Combined Operations could have provided the clue. After this conference, there were many groups to be filmed and photographed in the garden. Beside the Premier and the President, you will recognize Admiral King and General Marshall, Admiral of the Fleet Sir Dudley Pound, Air Chief Marshal Sir Charles Portal and General Sir Alan Brook, Field Marshal Sir John Dill, and Vice Admiral Lord Louis Manbatten. <laughs> then Mr. Churchill and Mr. Roosevelt had an informal and very friendly press conference. If the historians of tomorrow come and dig up the garden, they'll probably find a buried hatchet. The president decorated Brigadier General Wilburn with the Congressional Medal of Honor, America's highest honor for gallantry in the North African landing. This group, in which the Premier wore his RAF uniform, has been joined by General Alexander, who is chatting with Lord Louis. <music> President Roosevelt was driven in a jeep to see a parade of United States troops who are in occupation in North Africa. Lunchtime, Mr. Roosevelt and General Mark Clark had a real army meal off a real army plate, boiled ham and Swedes. Some of the British officers visited one of the ships in the harbor. You'll see once more General Alexander and Lord Louis Manbatten with our Chief Marshal, Sir Arthur Teller, who did so much good work in Libya. And so that was part of the secret of Casablanca, the meeting. The other part will be revealed in due course when the fighting forces of Britain and America strike the blows that were planned here. Mm -hmm.